Hi everyone, I'm Ryan London. and welcome to another episode of the Supper Club Social, where we review restaurants, movies, and TV shows, and talk about cocktails, home bars, and pop culture. Now introducing one of the best co-hosts anybody could ever imagine having, Roy Smith. Hello everybody, we're back, season two, live at Linda's Bar. Man, it feels nice to have this uh, bar uh, kind of almost done, Roy. Yeah, not bad. A lot you know? further along than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's no one's comparing. No one's comparing that I know of, anyways. Yeah, might be a little com- comparison. I mean, except for your mom. <laughs> <laughs> you keep my mom out of this. Um, cool. Well, season two. What should the people expect from this season, Roy? Oh well, we're gonna go a little lighter on the long-winded reviews on the movies. I believe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try to shorten those up a little. Try to keep them to an hour or less each episode. Hopefully, I think that. I think that will be in our best interest, yeah. Along with the interest of our listeners, yeah, <laughs> it might be helpful. <laughs> um, cool. We've changed up our format just a little, also with uh, kind of how we're going. So let's uh, hit this intro here. We've got our cocktails already made, and it is the good old Sazerac. Good old Sazerac. The what would you call it? The most famous drink of New Orleans or something? That's how the story goes. What did I say the other five takes we did? <laughs> <laughs> something about it's from New Orleans. Yeah. Created in New Orleans or New, New Orleans it. drink. It's a tasty one. It is a two ounces of rye whiskey, three dashes of Peychaud's bitters, one dash of Angostura bitters, um, a little simple syrup, put that in the mixer, and while the, that is chilling, you've got ice in your rocks glass with a little bit of absinthe in there. Um, you end up swirling the absinthe around and discarding that, and then straining the ice into your cocktail glass. Throw a cherry in there, and you've got yourself one of the tastiest uh, whiskey drinks I think there is. A multi-le- multi-leveled uh, cocktail with lots of aromas. Yeah, it's very tasty. It's got, it smells like absence a little bit because it's swirled in it. Yeah. But it tastes very smooth. It does a lot. Very good. It's doing a lot of work in there. And then, oh, we got to express a lemon peel over the top of it. Apparently, you're not supposed to put it in there, though. So that's why they're neat here. Um, have you had any interesting life interactions, Roy? Uh, <laughs> I did get flipped off three times uh, last week. Oh wow! In a day. That's so uh, that's always great, you know. That, that's good. You know, if people would just uh, get off their cell phones when they're driving, <laughs> they'd know a bus is getting over. Oh, blamed. so you're blaming oh, blaming always. cell phone, huh? Always. One guy, you know, Maple Ash on Francis. There, you got the long turn lane before both lights. You know, to turn yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, like the double. You cross the yeah. one one way. Yeah. So, I get to the first half. Mm-hmm. Stop red light. No one's got their blinker on. I'm like two cars back from where the actual cut is, you know, where it turns to nothing yeah. in the white line. Right. So no one's got the blinker on. I'm like, sweet, I'm just going to go. And I'll be at the front of the line of the turn line. Yeah. So I get over, going like maybe 10 miles an hour all the way to the <laughs> light. As soon as I get past this tundra, this guy just starts railing on the horn. I'm like, oh, <laughs> can't be for me. No way. Yeah, yeah, you didn't do anything. Yeah. And so I get up there, then it goes green to the next turn part, you know. <laughs> and then it's red, and he's just right on me. Oh, man. I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah. So we're making the turn. I'm looking at my mirror, and he's got his hand just flipping me off, so I stick my hand out the window. Oh, boy. Give him a good old thumbs up. Yeah, you got to play it cool. because oh, he you're... didn't like that. He didn't like that one bit. <laughs> so then he tailgates me all the way to where that little coffee shack is. Yeah. That turn around. That's where the buses turn around. And as I'm turning in there, he's like, I'm going to report you, asshole. Oh, man. I'm like, go ahead, dude. I wonder if <laughs> he's ahead. a retired like bus oh, driver or I something. Don't care. You can go to hell. <laughs> well, I'm glad you survived. Yeah. And that was just one time, or was it the that same was just guy? the one. Okay. Oh, my God. Do you want to go time. into <laughs> Sure, we'll do the other two. Yeah, I mean, we can't leave the people uh, hanging here. By NC, there's a, it's two lanes, and you get the turn lane, and I'm at Indiana and Division. Got my blinker on at yeah. that light, because I know i got to get over. Make it across the intersection, this red car is holding back. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, sweet, they're letting me in. So as soon as I start turning over, yeah. she looks up from her phone, I'm guessing, starts honking her horn, yeah. I'm already halfway in the lane, so it's like, whatever. Right. And then she swerves around me, you can hear her little Mazda car like rev up, it's rev limiter. Yeah. 
then she makes sure to slow down when she gets by my door, flips me off, and I just oh. go, all right, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That's very... Uh, another time was similar to that, but down by Spokane Community College. I think you handled it well, Roy. Oh, it just, I'm not doing my job right unless I'm getting flipped off or called an asshole or <laughs> something along those lines at least once a week. That's for sure. That goes for here when you're over here, too. I mean, yeah. I've got to give you the business. <laughs> It's not a good visit unless that happens. That's right. But no, it's all good. It's just, it brings a little joy to my heart, you know, when I, I get those type of reactions. Yeah, for sure. I wonder, um, so I think with my mic, it is recording normal. Look, these levels are this normal. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I, okay, Roy, let me, let me put the, shoot this across your bow here. Um, my dad brought to mm -hmm. my attention that, uh, He's received some gifts from his girlfriend, right? Okay. They're like Amazon presents or whatever, and they, you know, they don't fit or it's the wrong color or whatever, so they send them back. Yeah. And then my dad ends up not getting this special <laughs> present, right? Yeah. So this he happened. Get something in return, like he doesn't just swap it out for the right color or size. Right. I. I that's he that's sends it back. That's probably a good point. Cash that's, refund. So well, let me get. Let okay. me keep going here. So yeah, he doesn't end up getting anything. They don't exchange it, <laughs> and then. Um, his girlfriend doesn't typically like reorder him something else. Yeah. So he's thinking he's entitled to the cash value of okay. of the gift. So he's like, um, you know, you owe me five hundred dollars. <laughs> like I've totaled it up. Hey, we're recording it, then. Um, so he thinks he's entitled to the full the full price. amount of the returned item. Yeah. Okay. So well, at I mean, first I thought it was crazy. Yeah. I okay. mean. I now, let me keep going here. Let okay. me go deeper. So just for <laughs> I'm trying to get in the mind of Marty Lont here. Yeah. So that had been working on me. At first, I was like, no, I mean, you were lucky to even have a gift in the first place. <laughs> it's your fault that it doesn't fit or whatever. Yeah. Like, whatever. So then my friend, Eric Jensen. Yeah. Um, I probably shouldn't say his last name, but... Well, that's out know, there now. He's a, he's a, <laughs> he doesn't care. And, and he should be, you know, he needs to be... His name needs to okay. be out there. Um, so he was going to supply me with a Pabst blue ribbon neon sign right up here at Linda's. Nice. You know, probably uh -huh. go perfect, uh, somewhere, just so many spots. So I was like, so excited you it from the ceiling. Yeah. Anywhere. And it plugged in, it worked. Nice. Now he's claimed to have had this for like 10 years. It was in his dining room. Then he got married. It got put in the garage type of thing. Kind of like um, Eric, no. Eric. Okay. So. It's been in the garage forever. He offers it to me. Mm -hmm. I accept it humbly. Nice. I even offered to pay for it. Okay. And then, bada bing, something breaks, mm. falls in the garage, and the lights don't work anymore. Okay, that's a bummer. So I was like, man, that, that sucks. And then that whole thing with my dad popped into my head. Mm -hmm. I was like, so I looked on Marketplace. There's like a roughly equivalent Rainier sign oh, for I fifty dollars. I, I saw that today. I think. So I was like, Eric, I will humbly accept fifty dollars from you now, <laughs> since I don't get the the sign. Yeah. Oh, so you want him to pay for the Rainier one? Yeah, he should. No, I don't think that works that way. <laughs> I can see where your dad's coming from, but this is the same thing. I feel like really, I'm even more yeah. justified. <laughs> but I don't think so. He'd already agreed. Well, yeah, I know. But you should have got there sooner. He lives in, like, I'll give his address <laughs> out on this. <laughs> he, well, he lives too far away. So, okay. you know, couldn't happen right away. Of course, I'm mostly but joking. Yeah. But if I could argue the principle on this. I see where you're coming from, but, like, it was, he was giving it to you for free. You know the slap in the face? I sent him the picture of the Rainier sign, yeah. and he goes, oh, that's a cool sign. Didn't even address me saying, <laughs> I'll take $50. Yeah. So I, I can see maybe where your dad's coming from. But also at the same point, like, why would you not just do the return for the right size or color? You know, like that's an option <laughs> <laughs> on Amazon. I mean, or maybe his girlfriend just needs to get him gift cards for Amazon from now on, and he can just go on there and go whatever he wants. That's what we do for. But my maybe wife's it's dad. something where he's like, oh, I just don't, I don't like it's it. Not a style. Yeah, I don't know. That's uh, a good point. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think to ask him. Like, why don't you just return it for the thing you want? <laughs> with the information I have currently, I would say. <laughs> Your dad should have returned it for what he wanted. And in your case, <laughs> you're looking at gift horse in the face, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He was giving you a sign for free, it broke, and now you want him to pay. So let me tell it. you this. He never sent me a picture 
of the broken sign. I also suspect he just wants to keep it. Oh. I accused him of that also. He okay. claims he's, he's like, oh, I'll send you a picture. No picture showed up. It's been a couple huh? days. Okay, that thickens the plot a little See? bit. See, yeah. So maybe there is a little uh, scandal going on there, but... And now, how hard is it to find, like, a picture of a broken one he could send me? You know, that's probably why he's stalling for it. Probably on Facebook Marketplace right now and see one. Probably. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you couldn't. But yeah, I don't know. That's, uh... I think it has to go So you're thinking no, no cash should be exchanged in either of these uh, two situations? I don't know. That's, maybe we, for your we, dad, maybe a little justified... But for you, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, because he was giving I can't it to argue you with free. that. Right. So therefore, there's no money value. I did offer to pay for it, but a gift from your girlfriend is also free. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's uh, yeah. let's 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 wrap this section up here, I Roy. Get, I get where you're coming from, but yeah, that's I'm sticking with those answers with the information I have. You can't say you know where I'm, you're, I'm coming from no, and then it. not side with me. Because I <laughs> don't. So side you are with siding you. with me. No, you're scared because you're on the microphone. <laughs> I get your side, but I'm saying I would be like, no, I was giving it to you for free. You can't podcast scared, Roy. If you find, <laughs> if you find a free sign, I'll go pick it up for you and deliver it to your house, maybe. Because that's equal value. No, there's a street value. <laughs> See, I'm not even going for the actual. Va- I'm going for the street value of it. It's yeah. probably worth a couple hundred dollars. Those are usually is. pretty expensive. Not now. No, not now. Not now to anybody. <laughs> but well, yeah, let's move on. This could go on the whole podcast. Let's explain a little bit about Linda's for our podcast okay. audience here. So just so everyone knows, we're in an outdoor bar. Nice cedar aesthetic. Uh, a okay. very fancy brick wall is found behind us. <laughs> and um, laid. If you want to see it, uh, you got to see us on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it took a couple of... Uh, I don't know, it probably really only took me 30 hour, thirty or 40 hours. I don't know why I'd calculate it that way, but, you know, a couple of days of working on it, and, uh, yeah, it came together pretty good. I got some cedar slabs here, or, sure, let's go with cedar, probably this pine. Not cedar. <laughs> oh, you're a tree expert from yeah. Oregon, right? <laughs> I just They've got a lot cedar. of different kinds of trees up here, Roy. Okay. This is a ponderosa pine. Look at the bark. I think it's a red fir. No. Very expensive. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're outside. You're going to be here in lawnmowers, kids, dogs, birds, hail, yep, not thunderstorms today. possible. Oh, it's supposed to storm today. Later, tonight. That's right. Originally, it was supposed to do it earlier. Yeah. We kind of lucked out. Oh. Um, dang it. I just had a thought. I'm responsible for these, this cold spring, and I can't remember why. Oh. Um, oh, I remember uh, my sprinkler system broke Okay. in the beginning of May. So this I turned night. it off, yeah. I haven't turned mine on at all yet. I watered for like three days and realized that the <laughs> like the valve box was filling oh, okay. up water. So I turned it off, and then from that day, it has like rained every mm. weekend. But well, I haven't had raining. to water. I know, I haven't watered once. So if I don't fix it... I even fertilized and let the rain take care of it. You no, know, that makes it all into the ground. Nice. Don't get me started on fertilizer. I'm just... I didn't do the backyard. I, I, I gave need up someone on the backyard. to fertil- Oh, you can't give up on the backyard. With the dog and the kids, it's not worth it. So you're not picking up poop anymore? No, we're picking up poop, but I'm, I'm not going to weed and feed it. I'm not going to put any grass fertilizer down. Man, you're so lucky. We need to move on. Front yard, it's going to look nice. I just think it's doing it half-assed if you're not doing your backyard. No, I'm mowing it. I mean, I'm not it's doing green. it to... It's just a little weedy. <laughs> <laughs> and holy. So you couldn't spend ten minutes to weed and feed it? Or did you run out? Uh, no, I used a bag I had left over from last year. <laughs> it was only <laughs> enough for the front yard, but I also didn't want to do the backyard because of the dog and the kids. All right, completely understandable. You're under a lot of pressure over there. Yeah. How's your garden? Have you got a garden going yet? I haven't started yet because okay. the weather's been so See, <laughs> cold. That might be my fault. Yeah. We um, I think we bought seeds, and we might buy uh, some plants. You're going from seeds? Well, oh. some things. Like oh. She does some things from seed. A lot, like, I don't know what they are. I'm yeah. not in charge of that. I just <laughs> buy the dirt when she needs more dirt, and then that's it. You're the dirt man and the microphone And I man. set up the sprinkler system when she needs the sprinkler system change to fit where she wants to build stuff. You're a man of many talents, Roy. That's what I, I like try. about you. I try. 
All right, next section here. Um, let's go to. Let's just roll into it this way. Bar pet peeves, Roy. Do you have any bar pet peeves? Bar pet peeves. Let me get your brain waves going here. I got like one. As a patron or as a server? Don't let me back you into a corner here. Okay. Have that... you ever been a server at a bar? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I was just making sure. <laughs> uh, as a customer. Primarily as a customer, yeah. yeah. But if you can channel pet what peeves. a waiter or waitress is experiencing, a bar. I mean, I know it's it's not an easy job. I'm sure there's a lot of assholes out there that make that job horrible as a server right come on i'm just saying come on don't like i like a server that's friendly and like okay. nice like to joke a little bit but they're still getting the job done you know like, yeah. i don't like people that are just like what do you want okay i'll be back in a little bit you know yeah i want a little back and forth it doesn't have to be like an hour-long conversation right i hear you like a little something you know it sounds like you want a mix of a hairdresser and a bank teller yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know that's that's probably right <laughs> and then another one if someone's sitting at the bar yeah. If you walk in front of them, like ask them if they need something. Right. I refuse to go back to oh, the like establishment. If, if the people that just like go behind the bar and they're getting cups and ice for other well, yeah, people. Oh yeah, and you're the bartenders. Yeah. Like just to see oh, how you doing. Like, are you ready for another one? Right. I won't go to a place downtown. Or just give it, give them another one. Yeah. Charge I won't them go for to it. a place downtown because me and the wife sat at the bar. Yeah. And two bartenders came in front of us, checked their phones, <laughs> and then went and served somebody else. And so we just walked out. I'm like, what the hell? Like, you can check your phone, but you can't ask me if I'm ready to order my drink and I'm yeah. sitting at the bar. I wasn't even busy. I don't know if that's pet peeve because it's like basically the most base. That's their job. Why not? You know, like, you well, could have a I pet mean, peeve that a bartender does their job. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, <laughs> they got to do their job. I like it. And I want the server to have a little back and forth, you know? Yeah. All right. Mine, um, off the top of my head, and this is a little out, out there maybe, but, uh, you know, I do not like a double door. Okay. I, don't, I don't like going in the, the exterior door into a little breezeway and then oh, have okay. to go in through another door. At first I thought it meant like just a door that... No, door. I can negotiate those all right unless the wrong one's locked. <laughs> or I like just like a mudroom thing. Type yeah, of thing. I don't like this little... Area. It reminds me of like being in an airlock Yeah. and you wait for the door behind you to shut. And what if you have a big crew? Yeah. You got two door openers. I get it. And then it's a whole scene coming in. What I mean, is that? The bar's choice, or is that the original builder's choice? I mean, it seems like a design. I, mean, I guess they could take the They could take out. the doors out, yeah. yeah. But even then, unless you got, like, Maybe a nice bolt and board in there. Well, they got high thefts, you know. One door, I'll go break into that one, you know. Two doors, not worth the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Maybe they're going from that approach. It's my pet peeve, though, you yeah, know. Yeah, I get it. I don't know who to blame. I also am not a big fan of the double doors at restaurants. Yeah. Because it is a weird thing. When you got a big group and you're all like half years out, half's in. Right. You got to try to navigate both doors or yeah. someone's coming out and you're trying to go in. Especially if it's cold and if you like come right up to tables outside yeah. the next door, you're like, do I, I'm sure the point of it is some type of uh, Heat, climate control. control. Yeah, climate control. Yeah, maybe. maybe sound. Yeah. I don't know. I'm glad that I, so yeah, that's. Yeah, I see that. Could that be puts an me issue. off right away. Yeah. Um. I would like to try that radio bar sometime down there on Northwest Boulevard. That sounds cool. I actually saw there, like, through the fence as I was driving by. It mm -hmm. looks like they've got the backyard. Uh, oh, nice. Because like, it is a house. Doing, yeah. They turn into a bar. I like. mean, it's hard to pry me away from Linda's, though. <laughs> I know. You know. Cheap. Good conversation. Mm-hmm. You know? Do you notice that my lawn doesn't have a bunch of mohawks in it, Roya? Well, it didn't keep raining like Whoa. I thought when Whoa. you said you were going to mow. Sure. All right. And you um, took it. Oh, nope, I might see one. Well, I left a few in there just. I might see one. One right, blade of grass. Set. A little over, maybe Easy. four feet. You're going to crick your neck. That is a pine needle, sir. That is, oh. a, that is a copse of of pine needles. Oh, well, we should have sucked that up with the back. <laughs> with that lawnmower. I almost texted you back, like, I'm personally going to crawl through this lawn with scissors <laughs> if I see one mohawk in but there. That's true, man. When the grass is wet. They get all Keanu Reeves the one. Yeah, you know? but you just, instead of, you know, you don't mow over your tire track you got to go no, over a section like have but you ever mowed a lawn mister i don't touch my backyard i have mowed many yards in my day <laughs> first job yeah you ever mowed another guy's yard i have <laughs> <laughs> i have right. mowed another guy's yard <laughs> and it got real awkward real weird real quick my, uh, spouse i've actually mowed uh both of my neighbor's yards and asked before mm -hmm. just because i was so sick of them and I've it went that. over quite well um, but you know, normally I know people a lot better yeah. than I do.
do these people, and I just yeah. uh, just went for it. No, in the military, sometimes you have to mow spouses, like your other people that are employees' yards. Right. Well, yeah. And I did that one time for someone that worked with my wife. Yeah. And then the first time, it was fine. The second time, it was a little... Uh, <laughs> a little... Like, uh, what's that one with? What you coming around for, huh? No. Your water's inside, mister. That's where most of the water like is. the graduate, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that movie not that well but i think uh, i know yeah. what you're talking yeah. about a little bit of uh if you want to come in and uh, have some lemonade when she wasn't really mean in lemonade <laughs> oh yeah 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 and so that was the last time i cut that lady's yard yeah well oh like on on base i'm glad it wasn't from your end roy i wouldn't no. have expected no, it not from my end. <laughs> it was like oh yeah. wow roy's no. coming then, back hey ma'am do you need this fertilized <laughs> hey you know i've got a squirt bottle for each yeah. of these dandelions but, oh, there uh, it is. Good job. And then there was a house of a guy that I think was in the Air Force that lived like three down from our house uh, a couple years ago, and he was gone. And it was like five foot tall grass. <laughs> so me and my old neighbor who's moved since, we went over there and mowed it the front yard. Yeah. The back yard, we're like, no. Not I don't have it. enough gas for that. <laughs> and that's when gas was cheap. Right. <laughs> but yeah, so I have mowed the men's yard before. Uh, you know... Well, it's cost like fifteen dollars in gas to mow your yard these days. <laughs> I haven't filled up my <clears throat> gas can yet because I'm too afraid. <laughs> you know, I mowed like three or four. Oh look, Cameron's about to. Oh, he's about to lose a finger. This is entertaining. We got a Cam. Leave that alone. You'll chop your finger off. Um. All right. Let's keep her. Let's keep her rolling yeah, let's keep here, her Roy. Moving. Let's uh. As so our friend Charlie Burns would say. In the future, I think we should add a a sampling of something or an unboxing of something to this podcast okay. could be a little fun. But um, uh, movie and TV shows, and you know, I think we've got a little intro for this. I don't think that works, but <laughs> um, we can put it in post. <laughs> yeah, we'll put uh. it in post. <laughs> I probably had to have this recording. <laughs> Alright. Okay, here this we are. We're back. Alright. <laughs> We're back. Okay. So is it. <laughs> and. <laughs> segments. Alright. Do you know what's happening, Ryan? I sure don't. <laughs> if you're playing, you might want to stop that bottom one. Um. Oh, you know what? I think. Yeah, let's just put a, put a stop right. to that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, we're going to take a brief pause to hear from our sponsors. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> so, let's try to listen. Just so, what's that doing? What was doing? 
Because it was recording our voices instead of the signals. I don't know. Right? I don't know. We're just, just three of us left. Okay. So. Thank you for your sponsorship, people. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, that segment was supposed to take us into movies and TV shows. Yeah. Roy, you been watching anything? Well, let's see. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney Plus is, uh, about a thousand times better than Boba Fett. Yeah, I've been in, I've been enjoying that. Was it um, four episodes in? Yes, because yeah. they did the first two, yeah. and then it's been two after that. It has been, um, I like nice. it. Nice. I like it. It's good. It's a little, I mean, it makes the prequels seem like a good show to me, like the the, the prequel the movies, movies, the original movies. Um, they're building off of that a lot. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the in-between, well, those and the actual originals. Right. Yeah. Ten years. Well, it's ten years after the first, the last, the later, <laughs> after the last prequel. prequel. Yeah. yeah. That's what I said. Number three. Yeah. Ten years after. Between three and four. Did you say ten years? I did not say ten years. Okay. Then... <laughs> Shut your pie hole, Roy. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, they're a thousand times better than Boba Fett. You can just skip that one. To be honest, it might make you not want to watch it. Obi-Wan. Yeah, I don't ever want to think about that show again. But uh, um, it does get a little. So we've both been watching it. Um, oh, Cameron's trying to touch that again. Uh, it's a little like uh, Obi Wan saving Leia. Um, yeah. I wish there. I don't. I don't know. I can't really articulate my critiques on it yet. Other than I'm a little tired of the desert. Yeah, but they're not there now. They're. Yeah, they're in some water planet. Yeah. Um, it's worth watching though. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll say that for sure. I've I would been enjoying look into it. it. I've been looking forward to it. Where other, other like that other show we were watching. I yeah. <laughs> it's dreading. And then uh, the new, the final season of Peaky Blinders is out also. Oh, well, uh, I have been six episodes. That. I've watched the first two. What season is it on now? Uh, six, I believe. Wow. Or five. Do five you want me six. to whip up another set of Sazeracs here? Uh, sure. Hey, I'm it, not going anywhere. I'm not twisting your arm here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's been good. Uh, I've been at home the last three days, so I've had time to catch up. Well, you took some time off of work? I did take some time off of oh. work. Had a little Any procedure done. Particular <laughs> reason? Nope. Just had a little surgery oh. done. Oh, are you okay? A little outpatient stuff. Oh, okay. Nothing serious. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing too serious. Ooh, wow. Um, uh, but yeah, I had. You had the same procedure done a few months before. <laughs> I've realized why I don't want to wander down this territory. Yeah. So, <laughs> just saying, me and Roy had the same procedure done, and yeah. we can't have kids anymore. That's right. And then let's never talk about it again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Whoa, hey now. Uh, but yeah, so that was fun. You know, I just realized Linda's is technically in September going to be an illegal bar because there's no bathroom or sink in it. Have oh. you heard of this, that new law with the coffee shops? No. Um, pretty ridiculous. They have to have, like, those old coffee shops. I'm they need to have a bathroom a and a sink. License. Uh, yeah, I actually do have a liquor license. Not that type of liquor. A license to liquor. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. I'm all right. getting to work on Sazerax here. Right, what's the next um, question? Movies? I haven't seen any lately. Oh, you know what I watched? Um, been wanting to watch that 1917 movie. Oh, yeah. World War One. I've watched that. The I, single shot. Yeah, I well, so one I watched it on shot. A&E with like, commercials and oh, stuff, so I didn't really get yeah, that. It's on like, HBO the vibe Plus of that. or Netflix. But you know, it was one of those magical times when I was yeah. like, I saw it on TV. You gotta watch it. None of the, the kids were in the movie. room, and I was like, oh, play. It's such a long movie. With commercials, it had to be like five hours Tell me, long. I watched it like over three days. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you watch that movie, you need to find it on a streaming service without commercials, because a lot of the scenes, like the war scenes, yeah, single shot, no cuts or anything. A lot of the stuff, I watched like a little behind the scenes thing on it yeah and there's some parts in the scenes that they just kept rolling like some of the falls and trips and they're running across the fields huh. like oh we gotta keep we can't stop we gotta keep rolling he just gets back up and keeps running right right and it wasn't in the script from the fall like that's just how it happened tell the people i'm getting some ice I'm uh ryan's getting ice but uh yeah so that's a good one uh we watched my daughter plays the cross and so we watched a movie on i believe it was amazon called crooked arrows it's uh, kid show. It's, 
Is it a yeah, kid show? it's like PG-13, I think. Because there's like a weird, like, real cheesy love story in it. Oh. And like, maybe like one cuss word or something. Uh, but it was good. And it gives you a little bit of history of the sport. Like how it was a Native American sport when it started. Between tribes, to like, solve smaller issues instead of going to war with each other type of thing. And yeah. like, it's a healing sport for them. And that's kind of like if uh, you're from Spokane, it'd be like if, uh, let's say, whatever high schools out in Area Heights were to play a sport against, like, G-Prep <laughs> as, like, their main rival, you know? So, like, a real underdog story right. also in it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it was good. Uh, so we watched that kids movie. And that's pretty well, that's all the movies we've watched lately. Besides that... What was that one we watched here with Ben Affleck and uh, the girl from James Bond? Oh, uh, Deep Water. Deep Water. Yeah, that That'll was, was pretty good. Definitely don't have your kids around. No, it's not a kid show. Because it's almost a porn. <laughs> it's pretty close. Yeah. But it, it's good. Uh, it had a really good storyline. It keeps you on your toes. Uh, but yeah, definitely don't have your kids around. A couple of holes in it. As you would expect in a well, yeah. Was it a was it just Hulu. a Hulu movie? A Hulu movie. It wasn't uh, like released in theaters, no, but it was good. Ben Affleck put on a good show, and then her name is like something Amos or Admus. Or She's something. been in a lot of stuff. I hadn't realized. Uh, well, I'll look it up. Good old IMDb never did me wrong. I think she's the girl from. Uh, she's from James Bond, the um, new one. Safety without safety um, not guaranteed. You ever see that show? Safety not guaranteed. Uh, I think that's the, the, the Craigslist ad. Yeah, about going to space. No, or something like Anna that. Anna de Armas is her name. Well, you were way off. No, I just had a A's, all A's, <laughs> a bunch of A's in her name. Safety not guaranteed is Audrey Plaza, I believe. Uh, and it's uh, Duplus. Mark Duplus, yeah. Yeah, Duplus, something like that. That's a good one. Yeah, Mark Duplus. Uh, Jake Johnson, I believe. Yep, Jake Johnson, Audrey Plaza, Mark Duplass. That's pretty fun. It's about two, like, what are they, magazine writers or newspaper writers or something? And they're trying to get a story about this guy that thinks he's going to go to space. It's going to, like, go back in time or something. Yeah. Something, something like weird. It's really good. I watched a long time ago. Right, yeah. I'm a big fan of Jack Johnson and Mark Duplass and Audrey Plaza. Jack, is it Jack Johnson, the Jack singer? Jack Johnson. No, that's Jake Johnson, I think. No, it's not. Jack it's Johnson Jack is the actor from New Girl. Oh, uh, he's, uh... Nick? Nick. Okay. And he's also in some other movies <laughs> and shows. Okay. I guess he had a special on, like, CBS. But it was, like, their streaming CBS thing, so you had to have it. But he's really good. I enjoy him. Uh, and Audrey Plaza is hilarious from Parks and Rec. Oop. And I just watched the hot ones with her. And I've, I've never watched that. I've never seen it. Yes, you have. Oh yeah, I have the the hot, the hot sauce thing. thing. The hot wings I thought it interview. Was talking about something else. No, that's a fun show. You can watch that on uh, Hulu Plus and oh. I think. Oh uh, wait, Netflix. Wait. Well, hot ones is fun. If you like watching like celebrity interviews, but they're not very serious, <laughs> and you like hot wings and seeing people in pain from eating stuff that's way too spicy, it's a pretty good show. Put you, on by Now We Feast. You wouldn't think the lemon does that much to this, but it oh, it's really. A game we did these without lemons one time, and it was like oh. not even the same drink. It's like, what the heck are we drinking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's my rant on movies and TV since Ryan left me hanging while he was making drinks. Yeah, well, you know, Roy, you need to be able to fill time here, okay, pal? I think I did pretty good. I'm you know, one time I did the waiting room experience at the ER. <laughs> yeah, that's the lady right. And the guy that kept asking to go back into her room. At least I have uh, all of the ingredients yes, today. That's the first, I think. Um, so, next section here. Um, so, we've uh, we wrapped up our movies. We've, I've seen the movie uh, 1917, Obi-Wan. We did Deep Water. Deep Water, yeah. I, was watch- I watched the whole thing of uh, We Own the Night, We Own the City. Yeah, I didn't like the preview for that, so I stayed away from it. So, I didn't. I still don't know if it's like. If, if it's like actors portraying the actual people from, like, the, the real people mm-hmm. in that time period, but uh, Wayne Jenkins, uh, the guy. The main character in it, yeah, he is, plays such a good is that role. The guy that plays the Punisher. Um, I, th- I, 
Possibly. He's the guy in Fury, the tank driver. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, him. He's from Walking Dead also. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I liked it, but um, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. He's a good actor. It's kind of an interesting watch. Let's well, move on to the foods here, Roya. Foods. Foods. You had any... Well, I know for a fact you've been, um, you've been back in the griddle. Open. Yeah. Got the griddle open for the season. It took a while with traveling for lacrosse and crap all spring, pretty much. But yeah, we got that open. Uh, this morning I did a hash brown omelet, which was dang tasty. Yeah. Did you like my comment? I did. I brought you back. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> People don't know that, yeah. right? So you take, you lay your hash browns out on your griddle. I don't know if you could do this on a pan. It'd be kind of... I mean, you could space. maybe figure it out. Yeah, so you put your hash browns down. They take the longest. So you let those cook for a while until they start getting brown on the sides. And then you throw down your peppers or whatever you want inside of it. Heat those up a little bit. And then you take... We did three eggs, I believe. Mix those up in a little dish. And you pour that on top of the hash browns. Hmm. And then you put your toppings, your peppers and ham, cheese. So are we kind of in a casserole nope. uh, territory? Nope. it's an omelet because you roll it like you would an omelet. But instead of the egg being the outside, the egg's on the inside, and you roll the hash brown. Okay, like so it's omelet. not, they're kind of separated still then. Yeah, well, it's kind of in the hash brown. Right. It's on top, mostly. So then you let that cook a little bit so the egg doesn't just run everywhere. You let the yeah. egg kind of cook a little bit like an omelet would. Right. And then you fold the hash browns. Like you would the egg. Yeah. Okay. And let it cook a little bit longer to make sure everything's cooked inside. You don't want raw eggs. How was your? How was the reception to it? It was very good. The well, cook always likes it. Yeah. It Andrea it. sent it to me. She saw a video on Pinterest or something. Oh, so she I'm also had to pretend to like it. Yeah. She was responsible for it. <laughs> but yeah, it was good. And the night before, last night we did uh, Cajun salmon on top of sliced zucchini and yellow squash. That looked like it was properly cooked. Yes. Yeah. It was very good. <laughs> I got a lot of good comments on that one. Yeah. I mean, it's just a fun. I love cooking on that thing. Blackstone griddles. We have one for camping. I take that camping and we cook a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Quesadillas are a big hit with the kids. You're basically a one man marketing scheme for Blackstone. Yeah. Aren't you responsible for like five people? No, more Blackstone? than that. More. Probably closer to 10. <laughs> I just had another guy. Yeah, I saw that. person bought one for her husband. Oh, he did? Yeah. The guy that commented on your thing? Uh, or? No, it was a lady. It's someone that Andrea knows. I don't think I've ever met her. Oh. But she sees my post and she bought one for her husband. Doesn't really follow her. <laughs> nice. And uh, so he's been cooking on it. She sent Andrea a photo. He made like hamburger or something. I thought about getting mine out and putting it on the bar here and oh, like yeah. open some steaks while we're uh, nice. doing this. Steaks are fun. It takes a while because depending on how thick your steak is. If I'm being completely honest, I didn't know you're going to. I was just kind of like a, an example <laughs> of a possibility. I was going to go split. German sausages down the middle oh, and yeah. do them on there. Oh, well, we did fancy hot dogs. Oh yeah, days ago. You look good. Slice them on the top half, like yeah. in the little diamonds. Kind and so of. they don't burst. No, it's so the steam from the onions can get into it more because it's got a casing on them, you know, hot dogs. Mm-hmm. And so you like, I don't know what it's called. Huh. Andrew knows the term. Yeah. I just cook them, you know. I yeah, just you just. Video, I'm like, I can do that. And so you cut little diamonds in them, top half, don't go all the way through. I thought you did that so they didn't. No. First. But when I microwave the leftover one, then yeah. it runs like it turned into like a circle. <laughs> oh, because uh, it only had the tension on the bottom. Yeah. But uh, it was fun. They were good. We just steamed over some sliced onions and then did like a normal hot dog on a bun. Let me check our time here, Roy. Okay, yeah. Oh, so wait. We are at 36 minutes. Nice. So. Yeah, so I, I mean, they're just great to cook on. I, I want to talk about all of it because it'll probably come up a lot this summer. Yeah. Well, that kind of leads me into my next topic I wanted to go into, Roy, which is camping. Yeah. We have a camping trip, what, three, four weeks away? Yeah. Something like, like that? First, the week after July 4th. Right. Or the weekend, yeah, extended weekend, weekend after. after. Yeah. Um, man, usually we've got the campers already rolling, being Memorial Day has yep. already happened and stuff. I haven't but de mine yet. Since my uh, <laughs> sprinkler broke, nobody has gone camping yet. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know what the way the weather's been. It's like, been it cold. Feel like summer, man. And yeah, it's this. I I will say we'd like we'd probably be camping right now. If it was a normal year, we probably <laughs> would. Yeah, we'd be up at Priest. Yeah, all, I mean most likely. I mean all the pictures from last year, we were swimming at. Yeah, <laughs> at this time. I'm not, I don't know if we're gonna be in the water until August. But yeah, I'm not dewinterized or anything. I got to put in these new stabilizer jacks that I bought. They're like these 
big old Mondo 7,500 pound one, nice. so I can like lift the whole trailer with one of them. Yeah, I got four of them, you know. But it's just the the stabilizer <laughs> yeah. ones. Um, so you won't be able to lift them. I, well, I mean, the, it'll, I could lift one full side. You know, the ones that they come with, you're yeah, not like supposed to lift. Yeah. Them. Oh, I know. I got a bent one on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bent one because my dad and my uncle tried to angle my trailer while I wasn't there mm -hmm. and, didn't pull up the and uh, just jacked them all up. They were trying to help, so I should say that, but uh, yeah, they bent them all up. Nice. And then I think Ruben, you know how they're scissor jacks, so yeah. the big old thing goes right through? Mm -hmm. um, I think Ruben ran into one of them, because one of them like <laughs> bends, so when I unscrew it, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's craziness. Yeah, no, mine's been because I've tried lifting like, the front end up, and then it works originally, and then we'll start bending. Yeah. Up. You should have just called me. I could have just lifted it. <laughs> well, yeah, I got to buy a new battery because some idiot stole mine over the winter. Oh, wow. Who leaves their batteries out? <laughs> wow. I normally have them locked. But then someone told me I needed another lock when I was on the trip. Oh. So that's the only other cable I had. Oh, oh wait. We, are you? No, not you. Oh. Somebody else. Oh, that's right. You're a yeah. kayak thing, right? And so I took it off and then I didn't put it back on. And then the first year I didn't have it locked and someone walked off with it. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure I know who did it, but then it burned to the ground, so... Ah. It's probably in the junkyard now. Brand well, new battery, too. It's only like a year and a half old. Well, you know, maybe it would have burnt your trailer down to the ground. I don't so. Possibly. I don't so there's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's... Maybe yeah. it, it was the battery, though, Roy. I don't think so. Interstate anyway. battery? <clears throat> Never fail. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyway, well, you got anything else uh, to say? Uh, well, I would like to say welcome back to Season 2. Yeah. Um, hopefully some shorter episodes, a little more conversational, a little bit more from the hip. I think yeah. people will enjoy it. and uh, A little more relaxed. Um, I am having some weird mic issues. Hopefully it sounds normal or, or we'll be able to make it normal by then, yeah. you know, with the editing or whatever. Um, and hopefully you can't hear this trampoline going nuts in the background, but it uh, doesn't seem like it's registering. In fact, I can't see my thing yeah. lighting up at all. Hello? Huh. Um, but that's all I really have to say for our new new season, Roy. Right? Yeah. Anything to add? Nope, it should be fun. Nice little summer series. Summer series. Alright, well, sweet. Let's sign it off. Um, yeah. Apparently, none of these buttons are working, so we're just going <laughs> to have to do it the old fashioned way. All right. I hope everyone has a good week, and we'll, uh, we'll yeah. check in with you uh, soon. Make sure to check us out on YouTube. YouTube. Um, I wouldn't do the website. It hasn't been updated in a while, yeah, so I'll just websites. give that a little bit. I am, uh, I've got some back-end things working for the website. I'm trying to get my friend... I'm trying to start a line of products. Mm. He's, he's not resisting me, but he just doesn't... I can't get my vision through to him, <laughs> you know? I don't know why that could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not frustrating, because I, oh, well, I just went through this with this whole bar, yeah. which I will say turned out right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... So, I don't know. Eventually, yeah, any, yeah. stay away from the website. Like us on the socials. Um, yep, Facebook. But yeah, uh, and we got a full YouTube video where you can really uh, get Take the in the scenery. The windows. That's right. Bar and grill. That's without great. Without the grill. <laughs> yeah. And without the bar, actually. Hold well, on, the bar's here. Does the bar refer to just the foot the bar? We don't have one of those. I don't know. All right, we'll see you next <laughs> week, guys. Have a good one.